Hey guys, it's Kaz here and today I'm doing my December book haul. So all the books I got for Christmas and for myself earlier on in the year. So let's just get started. So first up I bought myself four things, three in shops in town where shops existed before we became tier four and then one randomly just online. So those books were Hannibal Rising by Thomas Harris. I read the first book in this series last year. I have the other two books and I saw this one and I thought hey let's pick that up. I think it was 50p. It's the fourth book in the Hannibal Lecter series. I think this one was written quite a bit after the others so I don't know whether that hinders or helps or makes any sort of difference but yeah Hannibal Lecter and all that. I then found Natives Race and Class in the Ruins of Empire by Akala in a charity shop 50p. This is a book that I've been wanting to read for a while. I kind of forgot it existed but when I saw it there and it said a pound on it and then I got to the, the, the thing and then she said 50p please. It's like I'm glad I picked that up. Yeah this is non-fiction about as you can guess race and class in the UK and yeah I just really enjoy Akala and him talking about race and class so hopefully this will be great. I then got Stags by M.A. Bennett from The Works. It was £2 brand spanking new. It's some sort of a, a private school affair I think and then mystery weird stuff and bad stuff and secrets I think. I don't know it looks kind of cool. There you go that's it that's all the info. And then last but not least I got A Fine Bromance by Christopher Hawthorne Moss. I got this on Amazon warehouse deal that's like £1.20 because the, the two first pages have got a little rip on it here so then it was like hey it's £1.20 now so I thought I'll pick that up why not uh yeah this one is some sort of LGBT I think if I remember correctly from looking on Goodreads first of all it's got like pretty much very three starry not very good reviews but you know oh well uh, I think it's got trans and asexual characters in so yeah we're not halfway through but let's just have a little break in between the me buying and the gift buying We'll be back after a message from our sponsors. I know I'm gonna move on to the Christmassy stuff. So I didn't actually get as many books as I thought I could have perhaps got, which isn't a bad thing because I'd added loads of DVDs to my wish list, and I know I hear you all cry, what are DVDs? I've never heard of them. They still exist and my mum got me a bunch of them which is cool because it's films that I wanted and films that I haven't seen because they're foreign and you can't find them anywhere so you have to buy the DVD to be able to watch them. So yeah I got a bunch of them but obviously I do have some books as well but I am very much glad that I've got other stuff as well, DVDs. I've watched quite a few recently. Good times. Yes, DVDs still exist. So first up I'm going to start with the books that lovely booktubers that are my friends sent me. You're all very lovely and very wonderful and thank you, of course. So first up, Laura from What Everyone Else Is Reading sent me The Witch Boy by Molly Knox Ostertag, I think is always what she's called. But this is a book about a boy that wants to be a witch but he's not allowed to be a witch because he's a boy not a girl. And honestly I didn't realise it was like quite chunky. It's one of those smaller but chunky. I thought it was going to be like a thin volume one of a graphic novel but it's not and I'm looking forward to it. And you know I like to always show the artwork on here so there we go. That is what this graphic novel looks like. Next up, my lovely friend Emma, who I know from Instagram, not from YouTube, sent me Fence Volume 4, Rivals. Very much looking forward to this. I really enjoy this series. It's so low-key and just chill and slice of life and sports contemporary. And I love all of that. So, yeah. Looking forward to reading this one. And here we go. This is what it looks like inside. Next up, Kat from Bruise and Reviews sent me Lock and Key Volume 2, Head Games. Very much looking forward to reading this one. I read volume one last year, perhaps, maybe even the year before, on my Kindle, in fact, and it was really creepy and fun. So I'm glad I'm carrying on the series. They're pretty expensive. I think because the TV series came out, there was a big th thing about these being popular and, and you can't even find them good secondhand prices. So I'm glad that I got one so I can carry it on. And here we are inside the spooky times. 
Right at the end of December, the absolutely wonderful, lovely Simone sent me Patina by Jason Reynolds. This is the second book in the track series. The first one is Ghost and it's about people running and their life and you know, they all have their own certain things they're dealing with in their life. So here's the next book. I really enjoyed the first one. And yeah, Simone just sent me this randomly at the end of December and I was like, what, why, you're so lovely, but thank you, because she also sent me another one actually around Christmas, so I definitely just was not expecting this to just pop up randomly for no reason, but thank you. And then the book that Simone sent me actually around Christmas was Vengeful by V. Schwab. I mean, first of all, look at the size difference. I was not expecting this to be such a chunky chunk chunk book. This is the first one, this is the second one. But yes, that is fun. I can finish off this duology now. I do believe it is. And that's going to be a great time. And also, just this book, right? For some reason, apparently, V. Schwab sponsored my Christmas. Because the two books that my mum did get me were This Savage Song and Tunnel of Bones. So I just have all of the V. Schwab slash Victoria Schwab books for Christmas. So that was just a random thing that I noticed. So yeah, this one is the start of a new series about the monsters and stuff and, and people can become a monster if they're a monster and I don't, I don't really know to be fair, monsters and that. And then this one is the sequel of City of... City of Bones? No, this is called Tunnel of Bones. This is a sequel to City of Ghosts, which is a middle grade series. So we've got the middle grade, we've got the YA, we've got the adult, we've got all the Victoria Schwab books apparently. Christmas time. I think Christmas is also sponsored by online shopping deciding to not come properly because I don't know whether it's a DVD or a book. I don't think my mum does either, but she said that when she bought the stuff, there was randomly one that said, hey, this will be sent to you February the something. So, I mean, when February rocks around, there might be something else there that I don't know what's coming. Who knows? And then my sister got me Through the Moon which is by Peter Wartman and Xanthe Boomer, I do believe. This is a little graphic novel type thing about the Dragon Prince. I didn't actually know this was gonna be a graphic novel. I thought it was like a, a written format, a book that links in with the Dragon Prince. But I'm even more excited about the fact that I'm gonna look at it and it's gonna look like the Dragon Prince, so that's a bonus. Here's all the Dragon Princey goodness and the pictures and stuff. So that was a nice surprise. She also got me Outer Darkness slash Chew, volume one, what's it called? Fusion Cuisine. And this is Chew, obviously, and another series called Outer Darkness, which I don't really know much about, but they did do a one shot in one of the volumes of Chew from Outer Darkness. But I didn't know this existed, and then I saw that it existed and added it to my wish list. And then my sister just knows how much I love Chew, so she picked it up for me. The fact that Rob Guillory is part of this, who is the artist with Chew, is something that I'm very happy about because it could have been whatever the, the Outer Darkness art is. I mean, for all I know, he does Outer Darkness as well, but I don't know that, so it might not be true. It might be true, who knows? So yeah, it's, it's, like, it's like Chew, but in space. Good times. And then, like I mentioned earlier, Christmas was also sponsored by stuff not arriving properly. My sister got me another book, but they sent this, so I don't think that's the one that I actually put on my wish list. So we'll see what that is whenever it gets here. I don't know. Hopefully it'll be in the January one. We shall see. And there we go. That was everything I picked up and got gifted to me in December. So let me know down below if you've read any of these, if they sound interesting, if they look interesting, if you think I should read them soon say some words i'll reply you know how it is around here and if this is your first video by me and you enjoy it then please check out some of my others and if you continue to enjoy then please subscribe that'd be awesome anyway guys i'll see you in a few days with another video bye